everybody, it's your old pal Larry. We're gonna try this again. Apparently I was too deep in the box. Facebook kicked me off. So we're gonna do it again. Kieran, pretend you didn't see this part already because he was the only one here, I think. Uh, let me get out of the box and we can try to continue with an unboxing today. And there I am, I'm back again with an unboxing again we're gonna try sorry kieran they just facebook said i wasn't logged in <laughs> oh holy fuck are you serious um so yeah i got a couple things to show for this unboxing it'll be short uh i got this in the mail let's pretend we didn't already do this it's either my new fangoria or a hustler these are old jokes now um, so the deal was I had a two year subscription to Fangoria when they went fucking teats up. They fucked me. Um, and you know, that's like what, like fucking 150 bucks or something with magazine subscription prices. So, uh, you know, they went out of business. I was fucked. And then, uh, I found out that somebody bought Fangoria and that they were going to, they were going to reboot it. And those people, the new owners, were cool enough to say, hey, if you got fucked by the last staff, uh, you know, just send us your name and address and uh, we'll send you a free year subscription, which can't be any fucking cooler. I mean, that's fucking really nice of them. They don't have to fucking do that at all. So uh, let's take a look at the Hustler, maybe Fangoria. Again, I'll stop saying that I already did this twice, but like, I already did it twice. First of all, this is a fucking thick bastard, man. Super fucking gigantic. Really fucking thick. I think it's quarterly now. Um, it feels more like a fucking graphic novel. It's got the square spine. Uh, it feels more like a graphic novel than it does a fucking uh, a magazine. It's fucking heavy. The pages are fucking super thick. I can't imagine that they're going to continue, they will be able to continue with this level of quality because, you know, like, god damn, this is fucking heavy. How much are they charging for this shit? I don't even know. Doesn't say. Uh-oh, I lost, I lost a chunk. This just fell out of the magazine. What the fuck is that? Do I need that? I don't know. Maybe. This piece is fucking missing. This is way nice. I mean, this has got to be, what, like fucking $15 or something? I mean, there's no way. Like, this This is like cardboard. It's like literally like a really high-quality graphic novel or trade paperback. Does anybody know? Oh, Shane, what's up? And Dan. Shit. Where did you get it? Um... I said, Dan, you're fucking me up. But, like, I got screwed out of my subs my two-year subscription when Fangoria went fucking tits up. And uh, and then they said, like, if you got screwed by the other company, um, just send us your name and address and we'll send you a free year subscription. So, uh, oh, Dan has an answer for us. Dan, this just in. They're $15.00. 20 15 dollars with a subscription 20 dollars in the store right away everybody that is not a model that's going to sustain there is just no fucking way it's too nice for a magazine i don't know i mean i don't know like you would want to put stuff in here that was like you know collector there would need to be, like, art or something that, like, you would want to hang on to forever. Because, you know, be honest, you know, you get a magazine, you fucking read it, it ends up on the back of your toilet fucking getting chewed on by the fucking cockroaches and stuff. So, I don't know, man. That's, like, I think they're out of their fucking mind. Um, for $20, it's not nice enough. <laughs> but for a fucking, for a fucking Fangoria magazine... It's way too nice. There's something, there's something's got to give there. I don't know. Like, would any of you guys pay $20 for a fucking magazine? I mean, it's more than a magazine, but it's just too nice for a bunch of fucking articles. It's too, it's too high quality. 
I'm that's my opinion. It's cool that they're fucking they're they're reviving it, but um, you know, like I would rather see it like fucking newsprint. Send me a fucking horror newspaper every fucking week. You know, like crank out like an old fucking um like an old fucking fanzine or something, an old punk fanzine, only full of fucking horror. It's something that Larry wants wanted to fucking do at one time until I found out it cost money and I fucking decided to do this, which is free. But um, yeah, I don't know. Dan says he'd pay twenty dollars. He didn't do didn't do the subscription because it was sixty dollars for four issues. Yeah. I mean, Dan would pay tw- pay up to twenty dollars. It is, it's quarterly, Kieran. I think it's quarterly, so four times a year, and uh, at twenty bucks a pop if you get it off the newsstand. You know, I guess. You know, I would rather have more content and less quality. You know, like the problem with fucking printed media is that they can't fucking keep up with the internet. Like they need to fucking like. If you're going to fucking compete with, like, fucking bloody disgusting and shit like that online in print, you got to have, like, a weekly fucking easy to fucking churn out fucking zine, I think. Um, this is like, this is like, cl- <coughs> <coughs> fuck you, Bob! Fuck you! <coughs> God damn. I think I might be relapsing, actually. But uh, I, I've been sick, if you don't know. And fucking Uncle Bob, uh, Bobbert fucking gave it to me. Big time. So, like, I just, it's just too, I don't, I don't think it's gonna fucking, it's cool that I have a a subscription to it, but, like, I don't think it's gonna fucking last. And I got this! I don't think their model's fucking right. I don't think it's gonna fucking sustain. Wow, this is fucking cool. So, like, you get, uh, you get that. I wonder if they're gonna do, this is, like, just a collage of horror icons. Uh, really nice fucking artwork. Once again, it's a fucking thick poster. For what, like, fucking 20 by something? I don't know. Like, I'm bad with fucking measurements. <sighs> what is going on with these cameras, Colin? What is this? Anyway, you get the point. There's a fucking thick, nice poster that comes with it. I mean, are they going to do that every fucking, every fucking quarter? Are they going to give you, like, a poster? Because a good idea would be, if you want to sustain, you know, make it like one of those fucking mystery boxes. Like the monthly fucking mystery box. You'd get a Fangoria magazine, plus a bunch of other fucking shit. And, uh, you know, because people are gay for those fucking boxes. I think they're lame, because I already, I have too much stuff. I'm just going to get repeats of fucking DVDs I already bought. Or Blu-rays or whatever. It's funny that Dan is here. Because my last unboxing is something that Dan sent me. Dan, being the nice guy that he is, he fucking, uh, he keeps a little fucking eye out for Larry. And Larry's fucking obscure fucking weirdo tastes in movies. And uh, he fucking, he IM'd me a picture of a fucking, uh, a movie that he saw at Half Price Books. Which we don't have here. And, um... I hope I didn't show your address. Oh, no, that was... He double-bagged it, so it's fucking cool. I did not know... Dan, this is fucking new? I did not know this was fucking new. Wow, this is overlapping like a motherfucker, huh? (laughs) So, anyway, you can't fuck it. I can't. I just can't. Wow, look at that. It turns gray. Uh, It's Phone. It's the movie Phone from uh, Tartan Asia Extreme. Larry collects all fucking Tartan Asia extremes because they're fucking out of print now. And I love the fucking, I love the, uh, I love the Japanese boom back in the 2000s, early 2000s. Uh, but this looks, I thought this, I just assumed that this was fucking used. Um, but it's still shrink wrapped. Dan, can you fucking chime in and tell me, do, do they shrink wrap everything or is this fucking new? Because it was five bucks. God, can I get a camera that works? Give me a camera. Wait, I think we might have something here. We're working on something. It's kind of fucking shitty, but kind of okay. 
Yeah, five bucks. Still shrink wrapped. If it's fucking new, like goddamn, what a great deal. And uh, so I told Dan, fucking get that bitch for me, and I'll pay you back. And he fucking did. And it's way nicer than I thought it would be. It's still got the slip case on here, which you probably can't see with the shit fucking cameras. And it's still sealed. <clears throat> Damn you, Bob! I hate you. Um, so, yeah. Fucking awesome. It's, if it's used, it's fucking, like, minty fucking mint and mint condition and re-shrink wrapped with all the fucking parts that is sexy for five bucks so that's it thank you dan thank you you're fucking awesome i owe you i got fucking chunks of fangoria on me so uh that's it for today just a fucking quick unboxing and uh tomorrow i have no idea what i'm doing maybe a movie review or something i just make it up as i go along can you tell? <laughs> We're not professional here. Hello. <laughs> Pity me. <laughs> oh, wait. I might have responses here. I need to fucking scroll. Wait. Yay, Dan. Sweet poster. It is a sweet poster. It really is. Um, Not all shrink wrapped. Usually... They're opened, and you get the disc from behind the counter. Okay, so it's fucking brand new for five bucks. Wow. I didn't even realize that. That's killer. Awesome. Thank you. Really awesome. Yeah, I mean, if I found that at a thrift store, you know that slipcover would be gone, and it would be in fucking shit shape. So, uh, where were we? I got to get back in the box. I'm back in the box again. Until the next unboxing, this is where Larry's going to fucking live. I, I, whatever. Uh, as always, until tomorrow, I would like to thank Dan and Kieran and Shane for stopping by and maybe other people. I can't fucking look right now because I'm in a box right here. Um, but as always, I would like to thank... What am I doing? This cold is fucking kicking my ass. I can't even. I can't fucking function. Just get the fuck out of my house already. Fuck me.